All right, so I'm going to just do a follow-up on the, my previous videos where we've been doing uh, long division with a single divisor. Now we're going to look at long division with a double divisor. So it does get a bit more uh, difficult, challenging, I suppose. But the only reason it does is because our multiplication and division is bigger. Okay, we still follow the same rule that we've been doing. The divide, m multiply, subtract, bring down... And in the end, the remainder one, um, the remainder. Okay, so I'll do the first example, um, and hopefully from there you'll be able to do uh, the following examples after that. So I've got 16 as my divisor, so 16 on the outside. I'm going to bring you a bit closer there. 16 on the outside, then I've got 6,342. All right. My first question is, can 16 go into 6? That is obviously no, so I can make a dot. Because it's the first number, I, I can write a 0 or it's a dot because it's got a 0 value. Right? Then, can 16 go into 63? Yes, it can. How many times? It's going to be roughly 3 uh, with some left over, so we'll, uh, we'll put down a 3. And then my next step, my next rule is the M for multiply. So 16 times 3. On the side, you can do a quick uh, long, long multiplication here. You can say 3 times 6 equals... <laughs> I'm looking at, uh, hoping the class is answering me. 3 times 6, 18. Uh, 1, 3 times 1 equals... 3 plus that one is 4, so it's 48. So 3 times 16 equals 48. Um, right, then I my next step is subtract. So I subtract, uh, that equals, I can't do that, so I borrow, do the 5, bring it over. Uh, 13 minus 8 equals 5, and that equals 4, uh, sorry, 1. 5 minus 4 equals 1. There, we see it is one short of being uh, a, another, one more, so being a 4 at the top. But that's okay, we'll take that. Then my next step is bring down. So I bring down the 4. Uh, then I have to say, 16 goes into 154. How many times? So it's going to be roughly 9 times. Let's put a 9 up there. Remember, I showed you how we can uh, test if our answer is close enough. If not, we can always uh, redo that one step. But let's stick to that. 9 times 16 equals. Again, on the side, we can do a nice little long division. Uh, sorry, long multiplication. So again, 16, 9, put the times there. 9 times 6, sorry, just had a quick interruption, uh, 9 times 6 equals uh, 54, so I write my uh, 4, 5 there, 9 times 1 equals 9, plus that 5 that was carried over uh, equals 14, so I've got 144. I bring that down here, I can see that one more 16 would not have fitted in there, so my 9 is correct. Now, subtract. That is 0, that is 1, and that is 0 or a dot because it's at the end. My next step, according to there, is bring down. Can 16 go into 102? Yes, it definitely can. How many times? So, taking a quick step back, we can also do a shorter division on the side with 102 divided by 16. Or we can, I'm going to show you, if we, we think we know it and maybe not. So let's write that in red. I say 16 uh, goes into 104 let's say four times, okay, four times 16, 
Again, I can do it here on the side. Four times six is 24. Oh, sorry. 24, put it there. That's four plus that two, 64. So now I can write 64 here, but I can see, oh, hang on. 16 can go in, uh, can go in there more times before it reaches that 102. So let's try instead of four, we say five. Okay, five times 16. Let's put our five there. Now, what is uh, five times six? 30, so I put zero, carry my three. Five times one, five, plus that three is 80. But I see, hang on, 16 can go into, can go into that um, maybe even one more time before we reach 102. So let's, let's do that. Let's put a 6 over there. Obviously, I can also just say 80 plus 16. So that was a 5. Now, it, plus 16 tells me I'm making that instead of a 5, it's a 6. So 80 plus 16 equals 96. That is close enough to 102. All right, so that's one way we can figure it out. Try, doesn't work. I, or I see it can add a bit more. Try again, add one more. Try again until I get close enough to that, that if I add one more, it's going to go over that value. If it goes over, then obviously um, I've gone too far. Okay, so we found that our top number, our top value there is six. Six times 16 equals 96. I've done it there, 96. Then my next step is subtract. So I can't do that. I borrow one from there. So that becomes, uh, <laughs> becomes a zero, sorry. Uh, one, but I'm borrowing there. So that becomes a nine then borrow one over to there. That is 12 minus six equals six. Nine minus nine equals zero, zero. So, um, yes, right. Then, what's my next step? I brought that one down, sorry. My next step is bring down. There's nothing to bring down. So my last step is remainder. Remainder what? The number there, six. Alrighty. That is long division with a double divisor.